Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to do an unboxing of Absolute War, The Russian Front, 1941 to 1945. It's from GMT Games and designed by Carl Paradis. Um, this is sort of a the next generation, maybe, of the No Retreat series. It is designed for two players, however, solo play is uh, noted as high. So let's crack it open and see what you get inside. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. All right, this is definitely one of their uh, large box games. It's in the nice large three inch box. Um, all right, so here we go. So the first bit of good news here is that the rule book is back to their uh, high quality standard matte finish, not that glossy magazine stock. Hopefully that bodes well for uh, other publications uh, coming from GMT. Um, this rule book comes in at 32 pages for just the rule book. And as usual, you've got your uh, index and the uh, you know, summary of the counter, so on and so forth. And then let's see how how far we go to usually there's an advanced rule section. So let's see. Yep, advanced game rules start on page 27. So we have about 26 pages of the regular rules and then covering some of the special uh, units, special markers, special map locations, events, so on and so forth. So it's probably not a very Difficult game to learn, hopefully. Not a lot of rules density. As usual, full color uh, book. Uh, nice white uh, paper, nice contrast with the text. And again, the, the matte finish, which is really nice. So, And then when you get back here to page 27, you're going to start the advanced game rules. And a couple of pages of those. And then we got credits. And then we've got the War Objectives Map Aid to help you find that. We'll look at the map in a second. And a blank page. All right, then we go to our playbook. And in this case, it appears that the playbook uh, shows the details for the campaign game and the scenarios. So it's not just a... Uh, um, it's not just a walkthrough in this case, but it does go on page 12. We're going to have an extended example of play, which goes about 14 pages. Then the designer's notes, notes for the Soviet player, notes for the German player, historic notes, and dedication. So this is a, let's see, another 32-page book. And this is dedicated to, uh, for the German army, Otto Eckert was the grandfather of one of the game's playtesters, Rohan Eckert. And for the Soviet Army, Fedorovich Putyakov was serving as a private in the 23rd Army. And not sure who he is uh, related to. So, but anyway, that's who this is dedicated to. Two soldiers. They died one year apart during this terrible conflict. They would probably have been best buddies in other circumstances. So, all right. So, again, the nice. Uh, matte finish paper, so it's not shiny. Uh, the campaign game setup. And then you've got scenarios. We've got a Case Blue, Operation Barbarossa. Uh, Operation Barbarossa is one, then Case Blue, excuse me. Uh, then you've got the Kursk setup. How many scenarios we got here? We've got Bagration. And it's four. The Stalingrad minigame is five, and that's it. And then we've got our extended example of play. So again, full color. Uh, there you go. All right, now we've got the basic game rules. Oh, a little folio here, two-pager. Now this is the glossier paper, as you can see, it's all shiny. But for a play aid, that's not as bad. It is the flimsy paper, not the cardstock that uh, they usually use for the player aids. We do have those here, it looks like. 
So this is the basic game rules. Uh, it says, let's see, these four page basic game rules are meant to quick introduction. Stop, go back to the rule book, do a quick check of the first five sections up to page seven. This will give you a general overview of the components, key concepts, sequence of play, and how to set up your first game. And then you go from here and you can kind of just jump right in. So it's a four pager covering the phases, how to win, so on and so forth. So you get one of those. And then we've got the Absolute War Theater Game Event uh, Reference Aid. You get two of these for two players. Quick reference sheets. And those are the standard, you know, glossy cardstock, coded cardstock, I should say. You get two of those, they're identical. And you got two of the battle results tables. And then we've got some cardboard. Not much cardboard, two sheets. Two sheets of cardboard, it looks like. We've got, um, unless there's more buried here under the board, you have a set of counters. And these are large counters. They're pre-rounded. So that's nice. Um, you know, troops, Russian, German troops. So it's not a counter-dense game, apparently. You got one sheet, and then the next sheet seems to be tokens and markers. So we got some control markers here, uh, resource trackers, um, some support, mobile, so on and so forth. All right, so just two sheets of counters. Interesting. And these are circular, so they are also pre-rounded. And we've got a board. We'll take a look at that momentarily and then we've got two decks of cards all right so german deck russian deck take a quick look at some of the cards here uh, obviously they're going to have uh, they've got uh, years on here i assume the years that they are going to be in play um, and then they are events and they've got a chart here at the bottom really don't understand how this works so you know we're just looking at what comes inside so uh, they're well laid out uh, typical of the coin game so and, and uh, uh, even the combat commander game where you've got the historical photos and some text some flavor text as well as everything you need to play the game Stalin's meddling you meddling Stalin you so there are 55 cards in the German deck. Should be an equal number in the Russian deck. Yes, there are 55. And the same thing just for the different player. So you get two decks of cards. And then we'll open the board. All right, so let's take a look at the, uh, the game board for Absolute War. It is a f uh, eight panel, so 27 by 34. Uh, mounted board which is always good um, so at the top here you've got the um, various trackers and uh, turn track and discarded units or destroyed units resource points it is designed to be uh, to sit long uh, in portrait mode so if you're playing solo you'll probably either turn it sideways or um, have to just keep reaching away from yourself but um, uh, here's your uh, partisans you know, holding bo holding boxes here, and one over here for the Russians. It would appear. Um, it's an area area map. Nice artwork. I do like the artwork though. There's the prize, Moscow. The Germans are trying to get to. And here's Kunzburg. Probably saying these wrong. Breslau. Kiev. It's got a nice uh, kind of linen sheen to it. So that's a little bit about the map. Now let's recap and see what all you get in the box.
So if you pick up a copy of Absolute War, The Russian Front, 1941 to 1945, from GMD Games, you're going to get um, two decks of cards, a German deck and a Soviet deck of 55 cards. You're going to get that game board we just looked at. You're going to get two sheets of counters, easy to punch, large counters, pre-rounded. You're going to get four, two sets of two uh, player reference cards. You're going to get a quick, quick to play folio basic game rules sheet, a playbook with a sequence of play and five uh, scenarios plus a campaign game, and the 32 page rules of play, and a nice thick box. And that is everything that comes in Absolute War from GMT Games, designed by Carl Paradis. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!